Uh, welcome, everybody, to Inside the Booth. I'm Dan the Law Arena. And I'm Dreaming Tabitha, back again. And we are going to be doing another trailer reaction of The Sound of Freedom with Jim... Kaweasel. 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 I have no idea. I don't know why this name, name is so difficult. It's like that other guy, Duchamel, Dachamel, Domashel whatever his name is. Like, there's just too many names that are confusing. Kazevil, but, uh, Kazevil maybe that's Jesus what he said? Jesus is... <laughs> and in... right. That's who played Jesus, everybody. And the Count of Monte Cristo. That guy, you know him, right? You, you, you know Jesus. <laughs> you know the Count. All right, yeah. So I don't know anything about this film. Dan wanted to watch this trailer the other day, and I was like, nah. No, it's not true. I just didn't have time. <laughs> but we're going to watch it today. For your entertainment pleasure. So let's go ahead and get on that. <laughs> it is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. It has already passed the illegal arms trade, and soon it's going to pass the drug trade. Because you can sell a bag of cocaine one time to the child, five to ten times a day. Mm. God's children are not to sell. That's right. God's children is not for sale. How long have you been doing this? Cold years now. Wow. How many pedophiles you got? 288. Oh. <laughs> ah, the chosen. See, Jesus. Te lo prometo. For homeland security. Multi language? Between Honduran kids in Colombia. Oh, Honduras. Disappear for good. Imagine walking into a room right now, seeing an empty bed. What we do? You quit your job and you go and rescue those kids. Mm. So this That's a good wife. Or <laughs> she could be in Moscow, Bangkok, LA. She's a major operator. It's all rebel territory. No one goes in. Not the army, not the police, not us. What if this was your daughter? Yeah. There's no marine unit coming. Go on your own. This job tears you to pieces. And this is my one chest. Put those pieces back together. When God tells you what to do. intense Woo. yeah i mean I, w I won't lie this movie looks good and it looks interesting but at the same time with such a heavy topic and it's just so relevant and prevalent in our time and it's just that's heavy that's heavy yeah, to watch um but it does look well made i will say it kind of has like this uh Clear, not was it clear and present danger meets taken kind of yeah, uh, vibe? Taken. Um, yeah. for sure, Looks good. it does Looks look good. really, really good. I want to watch it. Jesus coming to save the day, um, make <laughs> slavery <laughs> illegal like again, people. Um, That's for right. real, That's we right. cry all of these problems, but we still have people selling children all over the place. And we're like, but, you yeah, know, we can't figure not... out if we're boys and girls yet, you know. And, and I guess this is based on a true story. Uh, oh, the guy I didn't who, see that. Yeah, the, the guy, I guess the guy who did do this, um, you know, so that's that's cool. Yeah. You know. And, you know, like uh, taking any opportunity you can to like support programs that I mean, if we really wanted to, man, we really want to help our country in many ways. Stopping. Essentially, it's slave trade. It really is human yeah. trafficking. These poor children. And, children uh, trafficking. Yeah. you know, you have the underground and like a 21 and all that kind of stuff. You know, when he was saying that he <laughs> put like a was it 100, 200 some pedophiles or whatever like that or traffickers. Yeah. In prison, I'm like, that's a lot. Yeah, 
Bang! Good all job. of them. <laughs> I'm not allowed to yeah. say the other part, but <laughs> <laughs> I just Jesus said it would be better if a millstone right. was hung around your neck and you were cast into the sea. Is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. Than to yeah. harm a child. He, he did also say, "How many children did you find?" Mm -hmm. And I guess that was the turning point of him trying to find the children too, not just You're right capturing the the bad mm -hmm. guys so do you feel like movies like this as good or maybe they kind of bring awareness but do you think do you think it's it's good that we make movies with such relevant topics entertainment i think so i think it's good to to bring it out to light because mm -hmm. it's definitely something that nobody thinks about and then all of a sudden yeah. when you do a movie kind of a like slap this, in the or, face yeah or, or when people watch like documentaries or something like that they they realize that okay this stuff can be real there are real right. people people out in the world you know so you think movies like this actually make an impact or do change people when they see I it think so I mean, I remember when Taken came out and some people, not I, I can't say that a lot of people I, uh, in the world, but I personally, I know that some people were more cautious then when they were traveling, especially as females, you know, mm -hmm. they were traveling and doing stuff and uh, a little bit more paranoid as well, because it is a real, real thing. Yeah, it, it could probably make people paranoid. Um, you shouldn't be, but maybe rightly so. But, but you know, but yeah, be. Uh, I would say be a little more cautious. Cautious, you know, yeah, especially with your kids. If you have kids out there, and you know, you're the type of person that lets them run around and do whatever, even in the grocery stores. I would say, don't do close. it. Yeah, don't do it. Keep them oh, close, you know. Oh I my gosh, <laughs> I remember. I remember one time years ago when I was younger, and I was in the mall. And I saw a lady from church and she had her kids with her and they were all really small. And I just, not thinking, I just ran up behind the kids. One of the little girls, she's probably about four, picked her up and twirled her around, about gave her mom a heart attack because she didn't know I was there. <laughs> thought someone was taking her child. Oh, don't do that. So don't do that, people. <laughs> Number yeah. one, don't, don't sneak up on people and grab their children. And secondly, and yeah, right, don't leave exactly. your children untended. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, so that was our reaction to what was this called again? The sound of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about it. I could not think of <laughs> what it was. I had a word with R in it. Don't kidnap word. children. I don't, don't know. <laughs> right. Taken. Columbia edition. But yeah, so that was our reaction to this trailer. Let us know. Do you enjoy movies like this that really dive into these these dark, hot topics? Um, do you think that maybe it desensitizes us towards these topics because it's a form of entertainment? Like, we would love to hear your opinions about movies like this or just in general. What do you think about this movie? Uh, are you a big fan of Jim Caweasel? Like some of us. <laughs> Kavazil, Kavazil. See, if you you can't even say it right, I'm just gonna I can't stick even to, say it. I'm just gonna stick to Kawizel. It's easier, <laughs> rolls off the tongue. Uh, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. That's right. Cool stuff in the description box down below. Catch you later.